hi my lovely people i hope you guys are okay i'm just gonna be doing my morning ride and updating you guys on this michael osifo story as i head to work now there's been an update on this story um michael osifo's brother and his friend aneme made a, fr a press conference yesterday and they updated the whole world nigerians about what the police so far has gotten about this case now i'm going to show you guys my later when i do upload this video you will see the poster now that was the room where they had the rendezvous okay so you know when we say a b and b people keep asking what it is but well, apparently nigerian a b and b is just like apartments okay so kind of like one room apartment with um the kitchen it's um kitchenette there and the bedroom and everything so everything was in one room they had a small kitchen a bed and a small parlor so that was the kind of apartment that children map booked for this um rendezvous okay so um who the people that are making this statement and are showing us the video happens to be osifo's family so we're getting this story from reliable source now matter that we are that arrived booked this apartment using covid as an excuse so when she booked this apartment she she told the manager that she's coming in from abroad though she's um she's a foreigner and that she's coming in from abroad and that she was supposed to stay there for quarantine so apparently she didn't map book this and she used an untraced number a whatsapp number that happens to be a foreign number so you know how when you when you when you link your whatsapp to your email if whenever you change your number it, it doesn't show it's still it's still your whatsapp but the number book this apartment with a whatsapp number yeah not only that chidema also see the face of cinema very well it was actually by the grace of nigerian police investigation that they unraveled that it was chidema that killed michael osufo now when you look at the process that chidema took to conceal and to hide what was about to happen and what happened as an author and i love fiction books that's what i write i would say that it was a plot that was actually staged very well but that she had some sleep that was how she was caught this girl could have gone scot-free i'm telling you this girl if not for the grace of god and for the spirit of osifo that is strong this girl planned this very well let's start with she called the manager and she told the manager that she's coming in from abroad and that you know she was um she was quarantined when she arrived she wore a face mask so they didn't see her face now when she killed this man and this man was in that place she extended the date of the lease so it was supposed to be for two days she called and extended the day and she told them that no one should go into the room that is that you know she extended it because an apartment is like your house you, you you paid for a house so she actually called the manager not knowing that they have already discovered the crime and that was how they apprehended her she did not use a fake license mary i don't know mary something she she actually used a fake license to do what she did so she had a fake name and it was mary with her picture yeah so it was a pre um it uh, was a predetermined or pre-planned mother let me even ask a question now when i show you guys i don't know if you guys can go to my instagram page for you to look at the picture of the apartment now the apartment is like a very tiny one bed you know so the person next to the um the, the flat where it is should be able to hear when a man is shouting or a woman is shouting or they are struggling 
but from in police investigation from the update that we've gotten there was no struggle nobody had any scream or anything which is making people to elude that michael was drugged and gagged now for a man like him to not have struggled and for him to have been stabbed multiple times with a kitchen knife he must have been so weak and gagged and now the police already the Nigerian police has confirmed that there are other people involved in this crime so you know when i heard the news the first thing i said was that there is no way this girl could have done this on her own but to be frank with you chiduma did not start this you know crime life today the report that i've gotten from the research i've made was that chiduma four years ago actually tried to swindle us a married man by threatening to blackmail a married man by threatening to leak a sex tape that they had and the man had to pay so it's on it's on there you guys can go and look for it the man's coming out the man is talking about what happened between him and chidema and the fact that chidema blackmailed him so this girl is actually a tough knock i'm gonna say that michael osifo did not do his research very well this was a girl who wanted to be rich at all costs and could do anything for money. Now, the report is being, you know, revealed that now Michael Osifo had billions in his account because, like I said, you know, I told you guys that there was there is this possibility that his transaction with um, Nine Mobile must have paid, must have given him money, and people aware of this wanted to take the money. So the question is, who was Kidima working with? Kidima did not leave the room. Immediately, Michael died. So from the... ...killed on the 13th of June, Kidima stayed with his cop, his cops. Kidima stayed in that room for two days. He, she left that room 15th then called the hotel and extended the day but luckily for her they start suspecting and they went into the room so this girl planned it she's very callous she knew what she was doing people keep saying oh you know maybe she was raped what are you talking about rape i'm tired of having that conversation with people talking about how she was about to be raped or being abused we use that card girls always bring out that card rape this girl went to a hotel room she booked it with her super, um, sugar daddy if not for this will we will she not be driving benz and showing us her her many clothes and everything and social media so let's talk about the society that we live in and the role that sugar daddies play nobody kills their sugar daddy if the maga or the mugu is bringing money do you kill the man do you do you say you will not have sex with him? Chilima is a unilag girl, a runs girl, a girl that needs that money. So why would she go to a hotel and not want to finish what she started? So this girl planned to kill this man. This girl killed the man. We need to make sure that we are revealing to people the truth because people need to learn. Not only that, Chidima tried. Chidima and her account, 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 accomplice, yeah? that tried to take the billions from the man's account. There was a hit on the man's account, his bank account. They tried to change his security um, password, but the bank it was flagged by the bank because that account was an ESCO account. So if that account had been on in that man's personal name, they could have moved up to 1 billion from the man's account. But ESCO account is like a company account with many signatories so you cannot just tell the bank to give you money from an escrow account and they will give you it has to be on a company letter headed paper signed by all the signatory but they didn't know that they didn't have maybe they didn't understand how banking works in nigeria so they tried to move one billion one billion from an escrow account if people are saying first of all i don't think any rich man will give a sugar girl 
his pain. <laughs> not Nigeria that I know. Not Nigeria that I know. And no rich man will give a sugar girl his pain. Nigerian men are not that stupid. They haven't started being that stupid. They will give you everything, but they will not give you the pain. So when people are giving us a story and we are talking about it as if it's real, we need to ask ourselves a question. Who can do that? A sugar man. You're not, you're not my wife. Even their wife, they've not given them the pain. Not about a girl, a Ron's girl that he picked on the road. This guy is educated. He's polished. Unless they use Kayamata on him, unless they use Juju, then he will not come and give a Ron's girl his pin number of his money. Chidima did not, from what was, missing, what was moved from that man's account was not 350,000. It was 5 million. They now tried to move 1 billion. Hey! This girl could have, this girl, if this girl plot, if this girl had succeeded by, by this week, this girl would be on social media, tensing us, showing us how she would just be showing us different cars and then a man is dead. She used a fake name. She booked a hotel. Yeah, she planned it. Guys, go and read the story. I keep hearing a lot of activists, women activists, saying that they are fighting for children and i'm like are you guys crazy are you guys is something wrong with you this story doesn't add up right from the first day i said it didn't add up and it's still not adding up it's still not adding up there is nothing to add up in this story this girl planned it uh, you know what i am i like i'm a i'm a, I'm a crime scene writer and i'm like telling myself you know what maybe i should put a little bit of this plot of, of this story in my next in my next book because she is a big fool how can you kill somebody yeah you kill somebody and you're calling the hotel back you kill somebody but she's a child she didn't do it on her own so she's calling to see she actually called the hotel to find out if the car that the guy left if it had been picked what what is wrong with her what is wrong with Chidema? Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update of the story just to let you know that, you know, Chidema, 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 Chidema story gets, gets ACB, gets a lot of K leg, yeah? So, you guys can go to my Instagram, you can go to my news website to read the story by yourself. It's on every major Nigerian news. The update by the brother and by the friend. Chidema story, we need to be very careful out there. There's a lot of things that could happen to us while we're trying to, you know, have fun. Let us be very careful and let us understand that the world is changing. Those girls that you call innocent girl, innocent girl, they are no more innocent. Everybody wants to hammer. Everybody is social media where they see their friends and their families or, you know, slaying. And nobody's asking how they're getting the money from. Nobody is bothering accent. All right, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. I'll talk to you guys later today. Take care.